friends welcome to the lecture number 14 javascript executor inside an web driver in this lecture you will learn how to click on the element using javascript inside an how to set the data in edit box how to scroll to element how to file events html events then how to get the inner html of the web page so i have already created this particular code and here you will notice how i have used the javascript executor so in this line all i have done is just created one web element object which is referring to this java link and then in the next statement what i have done is i have executed the javascript that is document.body.inner html which returns the inner html of the web page and remember that uh, return statement is required because this keyword is required because we want to return value from that script so here i have stored it in this string and this javascript executor is used over here so this is the syntax to access that javascript executors execute script method then we have printed the html source then to click on the element remember how we have used pass this argument so basically this actually execute script method takes multiple arguments here you can pass another element and to access the first element out of that you can use zero if you want to access another next element you can use one like that arguments of zero means the first element so all uh, this script is doing is clicking on that java link then to get a uh, scroll into view specific element you can use this particular syntax then to scroll the uh, browser window then you can use this particular syntax this is purely javascript actually you can use execute any javascript valid javascript over there using this execute script method then over here what i have done is i have fired the change event on the element this element so this one is again purely javascript this is the javascript code that is required to fire the event on a specific element all i have done is created the html event object then use this init event method to initialize the change event and then finally i have dispatched this event on that element and to set the data on particular edit box you need to use this particular syntax arguments of zero dot value is equal to whatever value you want to set so basically if you want to execute any javascript you can use this particular syntax and before actually writing this javascript you can also test your javascript if it is working or not in the console chrome console so I'm just gonna clear this one. So in this console you can write any JavaScript and check if it is working and then when that JavaScript works, you can just copy paste uh, that uh, working JavaScript code over here. And remember that if you are using the arguments like web you are passing the web elements, you can use these arguments of zero. This uh, this is actually an array in which you can access that particular elements and then invoke the pure JavaScript methods in that. So that is how you can uh, like work with the JavaScript executor in a Selenium web driver. If you have any questions related to the JavaScript executor, do ask me the questions and I will try to answer all of them. So just to rewind all these topics that we have covered in this lecture, we learned how to click using JavaScript, how to set data in an edit box using JavaScript, how to scroll to event, how to fire events, how to get the inner HTML of the web page. So stay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on Selenium. Thank you.